Hi, Chuck Huber here for the Stata YouTube channel. I'd like to show you how to create pie charts in Stata. So let's open some example data by clicking File here at the top left, scrolling down to where it says Example Data Sets, so click that. Next we're going to click Example Data Sets installed with Stata. And we're going to be using the NLSW88 data, so I'm going to click Use next to that. This is from the National Longitudinal Survey of Women from 1998. And next I'd like to take a look, quick look at the raw data, so click the icon that says Data Editor in Browse Mode. So click that. And uh, so we have a variable race here and another variable, variable married that we'd like to look at. There are lots of others in here, but uh, that just gives us an idea of what's in our data set. Now to create the pie charts, let's go under the Graphics menu and scroll down to where it says Pie Chart here. Click that and the pie chart dialog box opens. I'm going to move it up to the top right to give myself some room to work. And there are several tabs here. We're going to start at the main tab and graph a variable by category. So under category variable, let's select race. And then just click submit. I could click OK, but then the dialog box will go away and I'll have to go find it every time. So let's just click submit so that we can run it without closing the dialog box. Now, Stata has created a, a very simple um, pie graph here, pie chart. And this gives me something to work with. And there are some things I might like to change. Um, the first thing I'd like to change is at the bottom, the uh, legend shows two rows and two columns. I might like to change that. So let's go back to the dialog box and select the legend tab. And I'm going to click the organization and appearance button here at the bottom. And then in this first tab or under organization I, for rows and columns, I'd like to select columns. And notice that a columns option just popped up here. I'd like to select three columns and then click Accept. And now I'm going to click Submit. And it's changed my legend so that now I have one row with three columns as opposed to two rows with two columns. I think it just looks a little nicer that way. And the next thing I might want to do is actually show the percentages in each of the slices. So let's go back to the dialog box and click the Slices tab. And then at the bottom we have a, 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 the options for labels. And I could label each individual slice how I like, but I just want to do them all at the same time. So I'm going to leave the option Customize All Slices selected, and then select uh, Click Label Properties. Now on the top of this box where it says Label Type, I'd like to select Percent, and then click Accept, and now click Submit again back on the main dialog box. And now the graph shows the actual percentages in each of the slices. Okay. Now one thing some people like to do with pie charts is explode, what's called exploding, some of the slices. So under the Slices tab, again at the top where it says Slice Properties, I'm going to explode the, the slices. I could do this to each individual slice if I only wanted one or two of them out, but I'm going to do all of them at the same time. So let's leave Customize All Slice Properties checked. Uh, now at the bottom of this dialog box, we click Explode Slice, and we could do explode them a little or a lot, but I'm going to leave uh, the default settings here. So let's click Accept. Now if I click Submit, back on the main dialog box, Stata explodes my uh, the slices so that they're se separated. All right? The next thing we might be interested in is looking at this pie chart by some other variable. So if I click in the main dialog box on the By tab, at the top there's the option to draw subgraphs for unique values of variables. So I'm going to check that box. And underneath uh, my list here, I'm going to select Married and then click Submit again at the bottom. Now I can see my pie chart for uh, by of race by single women and never uh, married women, excuse me, single and married women. Okay. Now I might like to add a title to my graph because it's usually nice to have titles. So let's type pie chart of race by marital, marital, which I can never spell, status and click Submit again. And now I have a nice uh, title here at the top of my graph. And again, it's easy to change the colors or the font sizes or the fonts themselves or whatever you like, but uh, easy to do all that. I just wanted to show you how to get do a quick pie chart to get you up and going. Okay, one last thing I'd like to show you if I close my graph here and I close my dialog box, uh, Stata echoes the command for the graphs and the results window. 
And I, there are so many options to the graphs, I just can't remember them all. So I frequently create graphs by using the dialog box and then grabbing these graph commands and pasting them into do files or batch files. So this is a handy way to learn uh, uh, gra the graph commands and then uh, paste them into other things. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Thanks for stopping by.